Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am here working with this beautiful paper from the Hazelwood Collection. And this is something that came in my January hip kits that I was playing with. And so I was showing you there, I took this pattern paper and I'm keeping the navy blue background half of it. And then the part that had the pink background, I have fussy cut some of the pieces because I want to go ahead and layer them on some pop dots. So I'm just kind of looking at where I might want these extra pieces to go. So rather than using that whole pattern paper, I'm just using those portions and then I just fussy cut the ones that I wasn't including in the background because I am going to want to scatter those throughout my layout. So I'm just kind of working on what that placement is going to look like. And then what I'm going to do is undertake a major stitching project and create stitched elements through all of these. So all of the flowers and all of the leaves that are going on this layout have been hand stitched. And so you'll see that even better in the close-ups. And then I'm kind of adding in these extra elements that I fussy cut from the other half back in again. So trying to decide exactly where I want those to go. And I end up putting the blue leaves kind of off of the edges more so than on to the pattern paper itself. And I am going to put those on a bunch of foam adhesive to kind of make them stand up. And so then the next thing that I'm doing is I'm taking these butterfly rub-ons and these also came from that Hazelwood collection from One Canoe Two, And I'm kind of choosing a few of these different butterflies that I want to scatter throughout my flowers to add some, some detail and embellishment. <coughs> Excuse me guys, I'm still trying to get over this ridiculous cold. And so I'm going to, rather than putting these directly onto the background or onto cardstock or anything like that, um, I'm going to put them today onto vellum instead. And they rubbed on really, really well. So if you're worried about that, I know as rub-ons get older, they tend to not stick. But these were brand new. They were in my January kit, and they worked perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of those and just rub them onto a piece of vellum. And then I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut each one of them. And when I am done fussy cutting, I'm going to go ahead and pinch them in the center along like the butterfly body so that the wings <coughs> are going to stand up and be three dimensional. And with the vellum, that creates a really cool look. So it creates a neat look when you do that with cardstock, but when you do all that with vellum, it's really cool because it's kind of see through, but not entirely. And so there you see, I've got everything put together. I've got my pop dotted sections um, that are kind of elevated off the page. I have all of my little vellum butterflies that I fussy cut here, and I've popped up their wings. And so those are going to kind of get scattered around throughout the different flowers and leaves. And I really like how this adds just a little bit of interest and something different to that really bold paper. So this is a paper as a background that's a little bit challenging to use unless you do kind of cut it and make it into a scene like this. And there are some really gorgeous pieces of artwork out there from people who have created with this paper showing you some other ideas and ways to kind of make this gorgeous floral paper work. Um, but I am really happy with how, how this one ends up coming together. And so I am going to um, go ahead and grab my photo, which is just a black and white um, selfie of just of me. And I do not do a lot of scrapbooking of me, so this was kind of different for me. And I'm going to go ahead and back it with one of the Project Life cards that also came in the January hip kit. And then I'm using this pink paisley paper that has the pink tone-on-tone -tone feathers. And this is from the Moonstruck collection. And I'm going to use that to also create a second kind of layer of border behind my photo. And that was just a really good match for the colors that were in the florals to kind of tie everything together. And so this photo is going to go down here in the bottom right hand corner. And I have pulled out some of the thicker letters to say to spell out the word fly. And those are those really shiny gold. They are really, really beautiful letters. And then I've taken my Felicity Jane stamps that um, Crafty Gen Scout designed and stamped out Born To and then just fussy cut those so that my title ends up being Born To Fly. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's so frustrating. I'm sorry, guys. And so now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to finish this little kind of embellishment cluster down here around my photo um, that includes my title. 
And so I'm going to grab a piece of fun foam, and that's what you see me doing right here is pulling out some of my fun foam because I do want to pop up this photo. There's so much dimension on this layout already um, that I needed to pop up my photo to make, to make that part stand out as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the foam to the back of my photo. If you haven't tried this fun foam yet, it is awesome, and it goes like it lasts a really long time, especially for the price. So it is a really great alternative to three-dimensional adhesives and things. And then I'm just working on arranging that title down there in the corner and trying to decide exactly what else I want to add. I do go ahead and add some gold thread nesting in a few different spots on my layout, which you can see here in the close-ups. And I just have some phrases that I've put on those. Things like dream big, inspire someone today, follow your heart. And then I've included one in the bottom corner as well. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing my hand-stitching labor of love, and I'll be back again soon. Bye!